The origins of the French Bulldog or Frenchie that we know and love today began in the early 1800s in England. Dog fighting had been outlawed in 1835, and because of that, English Bulldogs became show dogs and were divided by size. The breeding of the smallest Bulldogs created the Toy Bulldog. The Toy Bulldog was very popular among lace workers in England, and yes, that's workers who make lace. While it's not known exactly why they love them so much, it's thought that maybe it's because lace workers could sit and work with their dogs on their lap. During the Industrial Revolution, the lace workers lost their job to machines and had to move to Normandy, France to find work, and they brought their toy bulldogs with them. The popularity of the breed exploded in France. Everyone wanted to get their hands on these never-before-seen dogs. France imported these toy dogs from England in large numbers. England was happy to ship the smaller bulldogs, especially ones with defects like upturned ears. In France, the toy bulldog was crossbred with a French rider terrier to make the dogs even smaller. This is when the French bulldog breed was birthed. These dogs had a miniature body of the English bulldog and the energetic and content temperament of the rider terrier. In France, the French bulldog became synonymous with the elite, educated, and eccentric. Society women, artists, designers, and even Parisian ladies of the night accessorized with these companions perfect for a night out on the town. Some dogs even wore elaborate colors of badger fur on them. While the French Bulldog was popular with the wealthy society ladies in the United States, it wasn't until 1885 that the American-based breeding program was established. In 1896, the French Bulldogs were allowed to compete at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show for the first time. The next year, even more Frenchies compete, but the judge only chose the one with the rose-shaped ears. This upset the American society woman. At the time, French Bulldog could have two types of ear shape. The rose ear, which was folded like an English Bulldog, and the bad ear, which is what we see today. American society ladies loved the bad ear so much, they formed the French Bulldog Club of America and made the breed standard, the bad shape ear. As you can see, the French Bulldog has quite a bit of history that spans three countries. Frenchies were bred to be perfect companions and that is why it's still one of the most popular breeds nearly 200 years later. So if you see a French Bulldog playing at the dog park, walking down your street, or if you're lucky, one is snoring on your couch, now you know their history.